Hello, what is up everybody? Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. In today's video, I have every single bit of NBA 2K21 news to date. What version of NBA 2K20 should you pre-order for the current console and for the next gen console? I'm going to have all that in today's video, as well as what the park is going to be like what everything's going to be like in NBA 2K20 as the news we have so far. All I ask you guys to do is leave a like. be greatly appreciated. Same for 100 likes of the video. Also, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the channel grow, especially. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, 2K20, we will be going crazy. Daily uploads, daily streams of NBA 2K21. We're going for the 100K subs. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, we're trying to get to 70K subs before the start of NBA 2K21. Let's get straight into the video. First, I'm going to let you listen to what Ronnie 2K says. I've got two clips of what Ronnie will say. I'll show you the first one, talk about that, and then the second one, we'll talk about that one as well. From PS4 to PS5. So progress, the progress that transfers is my team and VC. Because we're building the gra the game from ground up, and it's been this case every year, we uh, are not transferring from console to console um, because it's a completely different experience, as you guys will see. You probably remember the same thing that happened back in uh, 2K14. It's just, it's a totally different game. It's not possible. So, so what I've interpreted from what Ronnie has been saying the current gen will be like 2K20, 2K19, 2K18. It'd be like 2K19.3, basically, because they're not going to really be doing that much effort into 2K21 for the current gen. Park will still be around. Everything will still be around. But for the next gen, so for instance, in NBA 2K14, they took 2K13 and put it into 2K14. It's like imported games like 2K19 and 2K20, but with everything the same. So 2K20 on the current gen will have no, uh, normal parks. We'll have like the build system we've got right now. It'll basically be the same game because in two months time around Thanksgiving in America, it's not here for Australia, but Thanksgiving, they will have the new consoles out as what I've heard or the start of December. There will be a new game. So with 2K14 current gen, the next gen, current gen was 2K13 2.0. And then 2K14, they bring it the parks. They bring an update of my team. They bring an update of my career with different stats, different badges, everything like that. So what 2K21 next gen is going to be looking like, it's going to be a whole new experience for park, whole new build system, whole new everything. So it'll be an entirely new game that we've never, ever seen before. It's going to be revolutionary for 2K especially. The graphic is going to be insane. I've seen some footage. I'm going to show you a little bit of footage of this gameplay that I've seen that they said it's going to look like 2K21. I'm going to show you a little snippet of that real quick, and then I'll keep talking. In this footage is what virtual basketball will look like on the next gen, so the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. What I'm thinking is this looks more like an NBA Live simulation basketball. As you guys can see from the rim and stuff like that, remember in Live 10, had similar gameplay mechanics to this one, but way better graphics. As you guys can see, it's really, really realistic and it's it's super realistic it has really good dribbling animations has really good dunking animations shooting animations everything is looks really crispy clean from 2k standpoint they're going to add way more sweat to the players they're going to be sweaty 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 and their the gameplay will look even more crispy clean with 2k but this is more of an nba live sort of thing this is just what it look could look like but I reckon that 2K will look way better. But as you guys can see from this footage, what do you guys think that 2K21 will look like? And are you excited for NBA 2K21? I, I am super excited. But that is a little bit of footage. Want to see the full footage? I'll leave the link in the description. So now you're seeing that little bit of a gameplay. Now, 2K21 for the next gen is going to be absolutely insane. Now, if you want to buy the current gen one, we're going to look at what you get for if you pre-order it on the current gen, pre-order it on the next gen. For the current gen, you get 100k VC, 10k my team points, 10k, 10 my team tokens, 60 skill boost, 30 Gatorade, 40 promo packs of Sapphire Lillard and Zeon Williamson, my player shoe collection, backpack, then Kobe digital items, so shoes, jerseys, stuff like that, my team shoes, and a diamond one. And pre ordered that. So if you pre order the current gen Mumber edition, you get the next gen standard edition for free. So. With the current gen one, if you're not going to get the next gen console, so if you're not going to get the next gen consoles, get the Mumber edition for the current gen. So just in case you get like the Xbox Series X or the PS5 for Christmas, you'll be able to have the next gen one for free. It'll just be the standard one, but you still have it for free and you won't have to buy that. So that's what I would recommend if you're not going to buy the game for the next gen. But if you buy the game for the next gen, the Mumber edition for the next gen, Look at this you get. You get 100k VC, 10k mighty points. But the one I'm going to look at right here is you get 72 hours of two times rep. 72 hours of rep. 
two times rep. That is a big one right there. That's what I'm going to get the next gen Mumba edition. I'm going to get the standard edition for the normal Xbox. So standard edition for the normal Xbox. Would you buy the standard edition? Buy it on disc. This is what I recommend. Buy the current edition on disc so you save. So in Australia, it's $100 on the store or $70 on the disc. So you're going to save $30 if you just buy the disc. And when you buy the disc and the next gen comes out, you could trade that in for the next gen version or you could just put it towards the new console. Take it in, put it towards the new console with your Xbox One or your PlayStation 4 and you can put that towards it and save some money off. And then you can buy the Mamba edition for the 2K21 next gen. Because that 72 hours of double rep will help you out tremendously because we don't know what the rep system is going to be like. But seeing that is that the rep system is not going to be my career based. It's not going to be my career based. It's going to be like this year. It's going to be like 16, 17, I'm thinking. In my head, I'm thinking it's going to be just like 16, 17, and 15. We have the really good rep system. You have all these brand new revolutionary my players. Like, as you see here, 3K20, the my player system is really good. But what I'm thinking is they're going to have similar, they're going to have all the same pie charts, but extra pie charts plus customizable pie charts. So, with customizable pie charts, you can make any build that you want, and no build will exactly be the same ever. That's what I would like about 2K21, and that's what I feel like they're going to do. The park's going to be absolutely revolutionary. It's going to be incredible. It's a brand new game, all new. It's built from the ground up. It's a whole new system. So if you've got to pre-order the game for the current gen, I'll just get the normal edition on disc. Take that with you with your Xbox One or your PS4. Trade that in to buy the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. Get some money off. And then you buy the next gen Mumba edition for the Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. Now, me personally, I'm staying on the Xbox. I'm Xbox game for life. But if you watch console you guys going on, PS5 or Xbox Series X, tell me in the comment section down below. But from seeing all these pre-order editions, the gameplay, what it's going to look like, the park being all brand new, the My Play system all being brand new, then the current gen will be similar to 2K20, 2K19. Similar because they really can't do much to it because they're really maxed out as they are. Because you see 2K19, was where they were maxed out for the park. That's why I bring it to 2K20 because that's the max they can do for the park. But the player system, they can upgrade a little bit, give you some more pie charts, stuff like that. Won't be anything special. So the current edition, the current gen edition won't be anything special. But the next gen one will be so worth playing. And in December, we'll be able to rock it out, stream, upload every single day, be going crazy, get this 100k sub, 500k subs. I'm going to go for that Twitch partnership, stuff like that. But that is what 2K21 is going to be like. If you should pre-order on the current gen, the next gen, what edition should you pre-order it on? But that is today's video. If you enjoyed this video, helped you out at all, make sure to leave that like, hit that subscribe button, the daily upload. Link to all my socials in the description or the top comment of this video. To my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. All there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace out. I only got my grand badge, boys. Let's go. Snap it. I'm going to snap an ankle right here, right now. Oh, he's a primitive lock. That doesn't matter. He's on his stomach, man. Kid. I feel sorry for this boy. Oh my god, rest in peace. I'm sorry, mate. I don't want to have to do this. I unlocked my grand badge. You know what time it is? Oh, take a seat. Sit down. Think about what just happened. I'm here for you.